Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. In the last parts, we made our way to towards Bedian, the tower in Bedian, as Micaiah's team. We staved off an ambush from the Disciples of Order, and after a several, after a couple of uh, deaths that I had to reset on, we managed to push through. Now we are with Ike's team as we are going through a different route, so let's see what's going to be happening here. Anna, how is Prince Krithnaga feeling? Not good. He keeps staring into space. He won't say anything and he hasn't touched his body with his food. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to, I wanted to ask him some questions, but it can wait. Ike, we're under attack. They've already surrounded us. What? That's impossible. How could they get this close without seeing them? I don't know. There are no signs of any of the sin of, the, or sin of their approach. I wonder if they simply materialized. I mean, Anna, stay here. Prince could protect, protect Curse Naga's tent at all costs. Understood. Everyone watch the perimeter. There are a lot of them. Just focus on one enemy at a time. Great. It's another Fog of War map. God. All right. <clears throat> oh, no, I definitely want Maya. Get the fuck out of here, Rolf. Get out of here, Reese. Maya, get in here. Um, Soren, you're not gonna do me any good here. Well, maybe you will. Raphael would be good for the. He is Galder, right? Yeah, Galdrar. All right. All right, Tanith, Volug, Miss, Nyla, Raphael. All right, we're good. We're good. Another Fog of War map. Love it. Okay, so. I need at least. I need people up there. I need people down there. Gatry, looks like this is a one defense. So. Gatry can man this. I can defend this. I can just... Maya! Maya can help out. Oops. Oops. Get out of here. I don't know if anyone's gonna be popping up up here. When the off chance they do. I don't think they will because they can't spawn up there. But you never know. Someone can help out over here. And she can, she's, she can literally go anywhere in here, so that's a fantastic thing. So I'm just gonna leave her there. Plus, she, I think she has physique, doesn't she? Yes, she has physique. She only has two of them, though. See what happens here. All right, well, there's a healer out there.
Got you, buddy. Oh! Got Pegasus Knights. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, so they can destroy barriers. Good to know. All right, that's breakable. That's breakable, okay. All right. Suppose I can be able to kill him anyway. I mean, neither can you. that it's probably like damage like three times the normal amount yeah based on the unit's strength I'm going nowhere you gotta get past me now Got a bow. No, I gotta move Oscar down there. Actually, Nyla can do this. Nyla can sh sit here because that's they can break. They can break that. And I guess I can move Oscar down here to defend that, assuming... Problem is, I don't know, I can't tell if there's any more Pegasus Knights out there. Well, I guess if there were... Sweet, I can move them both. Gatry just use his last lance. Fuck with Maya. That's it. Let's talk to Maya. Maya, good to see you. Hey, great, you're here. I knew that a little bat like this one could slow you down. This guy out of here. All right. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Thank you. 
Thanks for putting yourself in front of me. And this is what you get. I'll take my full health, my 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 HP back too. So there's two sandbags that need to be defended over there. Good. Go ahead, break it. You're not gonna get past Nyla, let me tell you this. That ain't gonna work. Not oh, what you're thinking. Sorry, but you're not gonna get past this wall. All right, too bad. Yeah, I wish you had more HP because this last was five consecutive hits. Oh, 
I'm just concerned about Boyd. Man, unless they get a critical on him, one shot at full health, he should be fine. Let's see. Um, no. Get you out of my camp. It's fine. I can go to her. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Well. Problem is, I don't know what's out here. If successful, turn target to stone. Ooh. I'm only concerned about what's on this side. So I don't know who else is out here. As far as I know. We should be fine. At least I would hope so. More worms. No double pole. Damn it. Oh, well, there's a healer out there somewhere. 
That has physique. Got two physiques out there somewhere. Fuck your worm. Keep him close to the center because I gotta move him somewhere. Get him out. Moved. Uh, oh, Gatry. He's fine. Oh, God damn it. Was bringing physiques. Um, all right, I can send Ike out. Let's see what's going on down here. You out. Oh, 
Yeah, it was a savage. She's done that every turn. <coughs> and she doesn't revert back, too, so that's fantastic. What a dick. Why well, I gotta pick on Oscar? Okay. Take you out. Now I got one physique left, so I might as well use it. <clears throat> I think I, I think I can buy another one anyway, so it's fine. Now we gotta get a double header. Oh! Oh! Okay! Alright. Good thing I healed him. What's going on down here? I'm gonna send out Shinon because he has provoke. <laughs> Again, I would have liked that at full health.
so bad. All right, let's see what happens here. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, look who it is, swarming my way into camp. I don't think so. I think you're doing. <clears throat> Not happening, buddy. Get out of my camp! Who's weighing down there? You healed up before I send you out. picture so I don't have to worry about you not quite sure how many enemies are left obviously there's more stepped away back there he just shows death I will go over just to check. Savage every time. <clears throat> There's more down there. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna move? And she's scared. Just to see. Okay, this, uh, this side's cleared.
Who do we got here? Catalina? So if Catalina were to attack Maya, if I were... Eh. Let's do it. Unclean souls, your executioner awaits. Repent before your vile sins pour out with your black cards to consume you. Well, what was that? Death? Oh, work is not yet complete. Yeah, no, you didn't even have a chance to go in. Maya just shut you down instantly. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, yes. Fuck with my, you fuck with the wrong person. Oh, good, reward enforcements. Archer battle. Too bad I win. My eyes just fucking just mowing him down with these criticals. Oh, well, you're gonna die. It's nice knowing you. Hope you lived your good life. Alright, well, there's this one that you left. There's more? Who's left? Must be up the upper must be in the upper left. you that looks like all of them fanatics they appear to know we're an attack from darkness this will be tough that was far easier than the last one and are you all right why don't you transform I didn't want Prince Krithnaga to be frightened, so I tried to hold him off in this shape. He hates blood. This can't go on. I'm going to talk to him. What the hell's going on with Krithnaga? Hey, Prince Krithnaga! Stay away! What's wrong? Don't you remember me? I smell the blood on your sword. What, this? No problem, I'll go drop it over there. Hey, look. No sword. Are you okay now? Yes. Good, I wanted to talk to you a little. Do you remember who I am? Yes, we met once. Three years ago in Goldoa. That's right, you do remember. You helped us when our ship ran aground, and you gave us food and water. Yes, you were the first Bayork I had ever met. I'm glad our paths are crossed again. We didn't have much to talk about back then. I didn't even get to introduce myself. I'm like of the Grail Mercenaries. Thanks to you, we completed our voyage safely. I've been wanting to thank you for the three year for three years, so thank you. No, it was nothing at all. Actually, it was quite an experience. I had only met read, read a Bayork in books, so being one was a rare privilege. I wasn't really myself, so I hope I didn't say or do anything rude. It's embarrassing when I think about it now. I'm sorry. No, if anything, I was the rude one. I was just an ignorant hothead with no manners or gratitude at all. And now that's that's certainly true. <laughs> 
But you just laughed and forgave me. I'm really grateful for that. I'm glad I could be of some help. Seems like it's been a while since I've had the chance. Prince Kratnaga, there's something I have to ask you. Before Yune's awakening, why did you start with, Dane, with the Dane army to fight against us and the Apostles' army? The Dragon Tribes are neutral and are known for their hatred of blood and war. As their prince, I can't see why you would do it. I suppose I do owe you an explanation for that. First of all, the Dragon Tribes had nothing to do with any of this. I... I disobeyed my father and the laws of Goldoa, and joy I joined the battle against all my training of my own free will. Anna just saw me just saw me leaving, or I would, wouldn't have brought her into this. I just wanted I just wanted to help my sister. Sister? You have a sister in Dane? Yes, a sister and a brother actually. My sister's name is Al Almed Almeda. She was a wife of the late King Ashnard. Mad King Ashnar was married to a princess of Goldoa? Yes, and my brother... My brother's name was Rajian. Oh, I remember him. He was the dragon that, uh... That, uh, Ashnar rode. That we saved. Rajian? Wasn't he the dragon that was warped and used by the Mad King? Wasn't Enna supposed to marry him? Yes, that savage Ashnar held his own baby hostage. The baby born of my sister, uh, Almeda. Then he, looked, took my, then he took my brother, Rajion, and warped him in order to use him as a mount and a common wyvern. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Ike, you were there at my brother's last hour. I'm sorry to ask you, but when my brother died, did he die peacefully? Yes, he did. Before he died, Rayson was able to undo that, what Ashnar had done to his body. Rajion passed on in his arms, with a contented smile as if he were sleeping peacefully. Thank you. It's a tremendous relief to know that. My sister was tangled in Ashnard's schemes. Our brother was killed and her son was taken away. She was unable to return to Godoa, unable to consult her father. My sister has suffered so much. I wanted to help her. So that's why you came to Dane. I'm sure that was difficult for you to tell me. Thank you. Actually, it makes me feel a little better just talking about it. I won't repeat a word of anything you just told me. I swear my father's grave. The Dragon Tribes and the Black Knight. They both had lead back to Dane. Something about that country always draws me back to it. Well, maybe we'll figure it out. That was far easier than the last one, though. Tabarn's party takes a long, circuitous route, leading them east around Lake Semper. The Hawk King's company includes Queen Alincia of Crimea, her trusted aide Lucia, the Heron Prince Rayson, the Laguz warrior Ranulf, and the Queen Mother of Dayan, Almeida. While they receive reports from the other two groups about the Disciples of Order, they have encountered no resistance and have thus far traveled in peace. I shall have to end pretty soon. Yeah, but I'm trying to eat with a mic muted. <laughs> Keep to barn. Put a lens We may need to halt for a bit. Why? What's the problem? We have some stragglers acting behind. You mean Almeda slowing us down again? We have to reach it. We have to reach the Tower of Guidance as soon as possible. We can't have her always hampering our progress. Though we have no idea when the disciples of war order might attack. We need to keep everyone together for safety's sake. Rayson! Or us here, you can land and give her your wings a break. Racing. I remember when a trip like this would have exhausted you. I'm impressed at how well you're handling it. Yeah, it's physically and quite healthy, but I can't say I'm really happy about that. Why would that be? You the Heron clan can feel the energies of the other of others. In times of war, negative energy is dominant and we sicken. Now that all the people have been turned to stone, the energy is gone. Physically I feel much better. It's unsettling to feel healthy and know that the reason is such a sad one. It's a terrible irony. 
We finally have the peace we've been playing, praying for at the cost of all, of, of all, for all freedom everywhere. Could this truly be the world that God Ashira wants for us? No, this is the world she had to give us after we ruined hers. Ah, oh, welcome back. Any sign of the disciples of order? Unfortunately, no. I don't like this. Why are they leaving us alone? I'm not sure I see the problem, Tibarn. If they're going to let us stroll on through, I won't complain. Not me. Right or wrong, I would prefer a stand up fight. Right now, even. What are you saying, Tibarn? How could you wish that upon us? I don't understand you. Right now, the world is calm, peaceful, almost eerily so. It almost feels comfortable. If this goes on, we might relax, lose our edge. I'm worried that we'll get careless. Hmm, he's got a point. He's definitely got a point. Everyone, let's get one thing perfectly clear here. This isn't a natural peace. It's a Shira's work. Don't forget for an instant that the world isn't supposed to be like this. It should be noisy, vibrant, and chaotic. You're right. A peace built on the sacrifice of so many lives is monstrous and unjust. It cannot be allowed to stand. I didn't mean that I'm losing motivation to save the petrified people. It's just that, before we started talking about it, I was feeling complacent. Is it just me? The spirit of order is hanging heavy all across the land. When we fight, we get do we get a dose of chaos, which may help us back get back in touch with our true selves. If our enemy has also figured that out, it might explain why they're staying away. Okay. Alright. I forget who's on this team. I don't know, Valencia, Tabarn, Lucia, Toro, Uki, Astrid, Brom, Zahar. I really have no good unit except for Brom. Well, Brom, <clears throat> he could be better. He's got good defense. He's a good wall. He's, not, he's no Gatry, but he's a good wall. Uh, Zahar, I mean, the only really good units I have on this side is Zahar. Um, maybe Nefene, maybe? But that's really stretching it. Oki, Janoff. Definitely not Alencia. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Uh. Alright. What are we got in weapons? Racing Minotauro. He's got plenty of weapons. You see, uh, you're. That should give you a new sword, actually, because Wind Edge doesn't only get you so far. Your Silver Sword is running out. Mm. That's just pretty useless to me. If I'm going to use Nefe, she needs a new lance. Zahark is plenty of weapon. Well, Zahark could probably definitely use a new weapon. Get rid of that, <clears throat> get rid of that Iron Sword. It's a heart. Here you go. Not that much money. I'll give this to Brom. Steal Great Lance and give it to Nepane. Alright, I forget. What is the convoy of this group? There's a crossbow, um, horse slayer, that's a spear. Short axe. 
Do I have any archers? Besides, uh, I, could still, I guess I only have Astrid. But, uh... Well, she's gonna take that. Okay, well, never mind then. Got a Mbu. What is Mbu? Oh, that's right. It does not, uh... What's this? Can nullify effects of an enemy of an enemy's unit? Okay. Sort of HP equal to this unit's magic power each turn. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so it looks like the XP is cumulative. It's not like one group has bonus XP, the other group has their own sets of bonus XP. It looks like it's all cumulative. So I'll just keep letting it build. Ryson, where are you? Over here at the barn. What are you doing so, do, so, doing so early in the morning? I'm hunting for treasure. Could you repeat that? I believe it was the goddess Yune. She sent me a message in my sleep. I saw patches of grass that glowed. I went to one of those past spots and found this. A Satori sign. Don't see these very often. It's a good find. What are you talking about? I had like eight of them. Well, blast it, Racing. Well, why did you wake why didn't you wake me up? I didn't know where I would find what I would find. Besides, you look so comfortable. Hmm, I didn't even notice you'd snuck out. I can't believe a heron snuck by me. Even heroes need to sleep to keep fighting, Tabarn. Where's the harm in sleeping? I know that you haven't had a t good night's sleep rest since the incident in Phoenicius. Yeah, but you know there must be something in the air. Despite all that's happened, I feel fantastic. It's a perfect day for hunting treasure and enemies. Excellent. Good morning, Queen Alencia. Oh, good morning, George. It looks like it looks like to be a pleasant day, doesn't it? Indeed. And what a splendid morning is the bet. And the spot in the morning is the best time for to uh, present a queen with a fine gift. Oh, George, your kind thoughts are enough. You and Daniel have worked so hard to supply your army. If you have ever, if something for me, please let me pay for it. Even under these circumstances, Queen Lindsay, you always try to be good to us. That's why I wanted to give you a gift. It's a token of my appreciation. Daniel. We'll take payment for everything else, but please take this item without pro any protest. It's our pleasure. Please, Queen Lindsay, we insist. Very well, I suppose it would be quite rude for me not to accept it. Wonderful! Here it is. Please use it with our compliments. Oh, this is a fire tome. Yes, it's a very valuable one. So I can see. I'm not amazed, but I feel great power from this tome. Danny and I happened to be in that building when there was when there was a big flash of light. That's how we escaped from being turned to stone. But you avoided it because you were one of the chosen. We, we still want to help you. We can collect weapons to help you in battle. Please save the people who are turned to stone. Please give us the world we used to have. I promise I'll do my utmost. I'll work toward it with everything I have. Together we can accomplish anything. Nice. Alright. Anything in the limited items? Another worm slayer. Can I afford any weapons? Or am I still stuck? Oh, I got silver now. Cool. All right, um... I wanted to do something, but I can't remember what that was. Oh. Oh, I was gonna give the Satori sign to, uh... To, um, what's his name? But he's not on my party list! Damn it! All right. Um, if I go any further, it'll take, it'll, it'll be, the video will be too long, so I'm going to end it here. When we come back, we will head off as this group 
and see if we can't get any closer to Banner without any uh, interference from the Disciples of Order. I've, I'm pretty sure that their little, little peace walk is going to end very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. Later.